In the west of Ireland today, a warm welcome for the Prince of Wales, but in all the joy and excitement, his thoughts were also on the events of 36 years ago and the murder of Lord Mountbatten. At the time, I could not imagine how we would come to terms with the anguish of such a deep loss, since for me, Lord Mountbatten represented the grandfather I never had. So it seemed as if the foundations of all that we held dear in life had been torn apart irreparably. Lord Mountbatten was the young prince's great uncle, but he was also a friend and mentor until that terrible day in 1979. Lord Mountbatten was killed after the IRA planted a bomb on his boat and detonated it a few hundred yards off the tiny village of Mullock Moor. This picture shows Lord Mountbatten, third from the left. Three others were killed with him, the Dowager Lady Braben, the mother-in-law of his son, his grandson, Nicholas Natchbull, and Paul Maxwell, a 15-year-old local boy. His mother was due to meet Prince Charles today. It's a good thing that people will never forget how awful it is for a mother to lose her son and realise the absolute senselessness of violence. On the same day in 1979, 18 British soldiers were killed in an ambush at Warren Point, the worst loss of life in a single day for the armed forces in the whole of the Troubles. The suffering is not forgotten, but on a day when Irish school children can greet the heir to the British throne like this, well, the hope is it's now a part of history. Andy Bell, 5 News.